Hydro is collaborating in a project in Norway that is developing the world's first fully electrical passenger ferry, with aluminium playing a central role. The ferry is part of a European Union-funded program, the TRAM project, Transport Advanced, and Modular, to make shipbuilding more efficient, and Hydro is part of the partnership including industry, government and research organizations. Today, ships are built in various custom designs, even though they serve similar functions. By taking a modular approach, like car makers do with common platforms for many models, costs in engineering and production would be slashed. One ferry, to be built by Fjellstrand as, near Bergen as part of the TRAM project, is destined for service in the Stavanger region. Fully electrical battery-driven ferry will have capacity of about 150 passengers and 20 bicycles and top speed of 23 knots. It will be operated by the Rugalon County Council and Columbus, the regional transportation company. Two other ferries may be built for London and Belgium under the EU project. Shipyard work is slated for 2021 to 2022 and the ferry is expected to be in operation in 2022 to 2023. One ferry can contain 25 to 30 tons of aluminium. For hydro, the project would include extrusions, panels, friction stir welding, robotic welding, bending larger panels, optimizing computer-rated design services and modular design. It is also an opportunity for hydro to lead the development of a new industry standard, as well as using our low-carbon aluminium extrusion ingot and sheet ingot products like Hydro Circle and Hydro Reduxa, which improve the environmental performance even further. The benefits of an all-aluminium, electrical battery-driven ferry are many. Chief among them is CO2 emissions. Traditional ferries are powered by diesel engines, leading to unwanted pollution, especially when in port. The TRAM ferry has no diesel generator on board and will charge batteries while in Stavanger port. Columbus operates around 10 vessels on fast ferry routes. The CO2 emissions from these vessels equal the emissions from all 450 buses that operate Columbus bus routes in Rugalon, according to TRAM project, illustrating the importance of zero-emission technology for fast ferries. TRAM project partners include Rugalon County Council of Norway, Maritime Cleantech of Norway, Apply Lervik of Norway, National Technical University of Athens of Greece, Fraunhofer Society of Germany, University of Strathclyde UK, Hamburgische Schiffbau Versuggenstalt Germany, Wartseele Netherlands, Fjellstrand as Norway, Servogear, Collins River MBNA Thames Clippers UK, Waterwagen and Zeekanaal of Belgium and Hydro. <music>